Okay, so fried chicken is one thing I've never really been able to rock. So, here goes. I probably used like nine different herbs and spices. My chicken was frozen, so I boiled it in the microwave in water with garlic and salt. <clears throat> probably not a good idea. I don't really like microwave food. But I wanted to do it fast and see if I could rock it. I got my spices in my flour, my chicken in my flour. Got me some homemade buttermilk and eggs right there. Now, to do, you know, the dipping and see if I can accomplish this goal. Oil's heating, ooh, should be pretty hot. I'm not gonna check it, cause it's been boiling for a minute. Okay, so. Into my egg and buttermilk. Gotta let it sit here cause I put all the chicken in the flour bag at the same time. I've actually got flour, Bisquick, and a little bit of cornstarch because cornstarch makes everything crunchier. So after I dip it in this homemade buttermilk and egg mix, it's got to go back into the flour and then into the pan. So it's a bit of a process because I've already cut a whole bunch of it out and out of my video. But whatever, it's one of those days today. I'm like, I'm, I'm happy, I'm bitter, I'm angry, I'm missing my mom, I'm <sighs> disliking some family members. Like, it's really silly, but it's a plethora of emotions. So, cooking is something I love to do. Therefore, that is what I'm going to do. And fried chicken is something I've always wanted to rock. So, that's my choice. Chicken wings. Actually, because the man who just left me and made me bitter about not having chickens bought it for hot wings. And is the reason, you know, why I actually have the chicken. How does that work? I'm angry because he promised me chickens and I didn't get chickens and he left. But now I'm cooking chicken that he bought. That's what kind of day it is. Okay, let's get it back into the flour. I don't know what you can see. Haha, <laughs> because my fr front camera's on for once. But, um, yeah. I have some crazy spices in there because I like different kinds of spices. And I'm a tangy kind of girl. Like, I really like tangy. So I actually added some of my tagine to this. And, you know, I'm going to plaster these things with Texas peat hot sauce. When they're done. Oh, look. Raw chicken juice. Oh, my God. I'm going to die now. No, here's the deal. I haven't had E. coli my whole life. Chances are, or I mean salmonella, my bad. Chances are, I'm not going to get it now. So, I'm not a freak. I don't worry about that kind of stuff because, you know, the media, blah, 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 gets us so worried about all those things. Because they want to keep us, they want to keep us. In fear. I want to keep us in fear. So we're always fearing everything. And we can't live actual productive lives, some of us. Because we're so stuck in fear that the world media and media have created for us. So I decided to take a step out of that realm. And uh, just, you know, create Christie's world. People don't always understand me. But whoever understands anybody. I think this is looking pretty good. Uh, so I may not have gotten the other pictures I wanted to get. You know, because I wasn't looking at my camera. I was just holding it over my buttermilk egg mixture. Oh, and my flour with... There's probably like 11 or 12 herbs and spices. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what happens. I don't know how long gonna take because you know the chicken's already cooked hopefully the oil is hot enough to um, cook it quickly so 
so this video isn't like uber long and everybody gets uber bored. Whoever everybody is. My kids. <laughs> I'm sure nobody else is going to care to watch this video. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm just doing it because it's one of those days and it's what I feel like doing. Might as well put it in a video. Everybody else does, right? Actually, I, I, sh I might create a reality show. There's not one out there yet, and mine would be pretty good. Well, for people in my mental situation, they'd be able to relate. It might be funny to other people because they've never had to deal with mental illness. So, I think it's a cool idea, though. And I really might take it and run with it. I really might. Will it be successful? I don't know. But it's worth a try. I already tried going to work. That didn't work. <clears throat> so I have some crazy mad triggers going on with that because I've been stagnant for ten and a half years. The reason I've been stagnant for ten and a half years is because I fell at work, injured my spine. Workers' comp cut me off after three months. Three months, mind you, with a tear in one of my discs that was already herniated and giving me trouble. There's a hair on my hand, and that freaks me out. <sighs> so, because of all that, um, I asked for pain patches. I don't like taking pill medication. It's not my thing. Wow, those patches were nuts. Made me crazy. I slept 18 to 20 hours a day. I was... A month and ten day newlywed. Yeah. After being cut, my having my income cut off after being independent, leaving my ex husband, um, raising three of my girls, going to work, having the best year of my life in the workplace. It it set me back pretty far. I I don't I just I guess I'm just wired different and things affect me differently. And uh, I lost my husband. Lost my car. Lost two friends of over 35 years that I adore and, and have had since the beginning of time. Um, lost myself. Never abused anything. In fact, when I realized the patches were making me so crazy, paranoid, and the cause of me sleeping 18 to 20 hours a day, it took three years, something like that, um, I decided I needed to come out of that. Finally, after being sick and having really bad winters with all my physical issues and my mental issues, since I moved to my cute little place in the middle of nowhere, Utah, um, I'm doing a lot better mentally. Physically, I will probably continue to go downhill until something gets fixed, but I fight through every day with no pill form medication, no, no other drugs. Um, I... I I push through it as much as I can. You know, once in a while I have to break down and I have to take Tylenol arthritis or a leave. You know, it's a blessing. But I prefer to stay drug free. Now, if CBD tincture was made legal with medical grade that I got when I was in Oregon, um, 883 milligrams of CBD, pure medicine, 0.33 milligrams of THC, which I was against because I'm a prude like that, but I actually, um, it helped me tremendously. It helped me focus and function um, and come home with a deeper inner peace and appreciation for the little things in life. I, I've become pretty humble over the last 10 years. Anyway, back to the chicken. Hence the ADD. I think it's actually looking pretty damn good. <laughs> Considering I've never been able to even rock a crust on fried chicken today. I was inspired. <laughs> I was inspired by a whole bunch of different emotions. Wow, were they crazy. I, after talking about... I don't even know. Like, I mentioned, oh my gosh, maybe I should just go to church. Then one of my best friends sends me a, a live link to his church that he was going to today that was in session at that time. So I actually watched for a while, but then it became too much for me. So I was like, I don't ever 
I don't ever deny things that the universe throws at me. Um, I, I believe everything that happens happens exactly the way it's supposed to for a reason, as my mom always taught me. And I believe the people that come into our lives come into our lives for a reason. Every single person, no matter what happens, um, how they leave our lives, whether it's bitter or happy, whatever, every single person that comes into our lives comes into our lives for a reason. And one day we'll figure out what that all is. And sometimes synchronicity works and those people come back into our lives. You know, I think some of the people that I become closest with are there because we're all supposed to be together and create this really cool worldly energy that might heal people or make a difference. Sound crazy? Maybe, but that's who I am and that's how I think and that's what makes me different from everybody else. I'm not wired like everybody else. I never have been. Uh, my craziness has calmed down a hundredfold, which is really nice, but I can't lie. It's still there. I wake up this morning with marks on my neck. I don't know where they came from. I'll get to the bottom of it and let everybody know. So, chicken's looking awesome. It's a little dark, but I'm a crunchy kind of girl. They don't call me crispy chicken for nothing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed. And this is just totally out of out of inspiration and being angry because I don't have any chickens to wake up to and take care of every day. So I'm not going to finish the video like finish putting the hot sauce on them and Biting into them, whatever, whatnot, but holy cow. Is that not a pretty chicken wing? Oh, I think it is, and I created it. I'm 49 years old, and I've been cooking since I was a little kid. A latchkey kid, man. I had to cook my own ramen or whatever I wanted, me and my brother both. So I'm, I'm quite impressed with the turnout already. I know it's going to taste good because... I have my own taste buds and I make my own, create my own tastes and flavors. So I'm sure it's going to be good for me. But hey, here's a video of a lady with super bipolar emotions inspired to cook fried chicken. And I'm pretty sure rocked it for the first time in her cooking life. That's, <laughs> that's what anger and sadness and missing passed away parents can do to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday. Christy's Crazy Life.